Hi everybody, welcome to this video on trade diversion. This diagram is a bit tricky, so it's important you understand how we construct it. Make sure you've watched my theory video on this before you climb into how to draw this diagram. Well, it's important before we start to understand what are we trying to draw here. So we go to our checklist. We are looking to draw, remember, three horizontal supply curves. You should have that in your head. An increase in price as traders diverted away from an efficient um, producer outside the customs union to an inefficient producer within the customs union. Uh, an increase in domestic supply as a result, but also an increase in uh, imports coming in from the customs union. So bear all that in mind when we start drawing this diagram. So we're going to have price on the y-axis and quantity on the x-axis. Don't forget your labelling of the curves, you do that first. Next, we're going to draw a market here, and we're going to assume that this market is of a domestic country that's currently outside the customs union and domestic demand. Okay? This country, let's assume, is trading freely with a country that's outside of the customs union. So let's call this Thailand. Right, so we have supply, Thailand. Thailand have got the comparative advantage and therefore their prices are the lowest in the market they are. The world price is set by Thailand because they are the most efficient. And as a result, domestic supply is here at Q1 and domestic demand is there at Q2 with the excess demand being satisfied by imports coming in from Thailand. So start with that very simple uh, start right here. But now we're going to assume that this domestic country enters the EU Customs Union. Now, if it enters the EU Customs Union, what must happen? Well, a common external tariff must be imposed on all imports coming in from non-member countries, i.e. Thailand, for example. So now, the Thailand supply curve will shift upwards. So you draw that upward shift. So we have supply, Thailand, plus the common external tariff. And that increases the Thailand price to price Thailand plus tariff. So we've drawn our second horizontal supply curve. Now you don't need to do any quantity labeling here because that is not going to be now the most competitive price. We make the assumption now that because of this common external tariff, Thailand has lost the advantage. This tariff brings in customs union supplies or EU supplies in this case. So you stick a supply curve in the middle and you call that supply EU and we have here the price EU. That is now the new price in the market because it's lower than the Thailand price with the tariff on top. So that is why the market is now operating for this domestic country. And what does it mean? It means that with this higher price, domestic supply has extended from Q1 to Q3, and domestic demand has contracted from Q2 to Q4. We're almost done now with this diagram. All we want to draw now are two uh, little things that we need to shade in. What we're going to shade in is this triangle here on the right hand side, and this represents a loss of consumer surplus. Absolutely. We want to shade in. Now, one massive area of inefficiency, but I'm going to break this down into two. What we can label this is a loss of domestic efficiency, and we can shade this a loss of EU efficiency and if you want to understand why that is then watch my theory video where I explain exactly why that is true. That guys is now complete. You can see how detailed this diagram is and you need to make sure you can draw it but if you break it down in the stages that I've just done it's not too difficult, it requires practice. Let's move to our checklist. Have we labelled our axis? Yep we have. Have we labelled all of our curves? Lots of curves here. We have importantly. Have we labelled all of our different equilibria? Absolutely, with quantities and prices very, very clearly labelled and arrows to show exactly what's going on. Have we drawn our three horizontal supply curves, making it clear why there are three and what they represent? Yep, we've done that nicely as well. Have we shown an increase in price as a result of trade diversion and 
countries now uh, importing from inefficient producers? Yes, we have. Have we shown an increase in domestic supply and the inefficiency that brings? Yes, we have. Have we shown an increase in customs union imports, i.e. now imports coming in from the EU? Yes, we have. Q1, Q2 imports were from Thailand. Suddenly now, Q3, Q4 imports are coming in from inefficient EU producers. We made that very clear. That is the trade diversion. Thailand completely losing out as a result of this. This is very important to draw big because it's such a detailed diagram with a ruler and a pencil. So you look like a smart economist, which you all are. Of course you are. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Important to practice this, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you.